Hi, I'm comedian, ventriloquist, and car enthusiast Jeff Dunham, and welcome to our second episode of Project Ultraviolet. In our first episode, a bunch of guys from Chrysler showed up at my house, and we started making plans to build a project car for SEMA 2012. Not long after that, we headed over to a dealership in downtown Los Angeles and picked it up this beautiful 2012 Challenger. Well, now it's time to tear this car down so we can build it back up. We're at Alan Palmer's shop in Camarillo, California, Palmer's Customs, and all these guys are getting ready to tear this thing apart. So let's see all that in a montage. This car's got like 25 miles on it now. Uh, you should have seen the salesman, you know, when they handed me the keys and I drove it out of there. They, they looked sad, they looked like they were losing a best friend, because this was, you know, the six-speed, all black, in L.A., right. hard to come by. The rare one. Yep. But now, I guess you're getting ready to take things apart. I love this. I love all the details back there. And I just think this is cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this So if you walked into a repair shop where your car's being worked on or fixed or whatever and uh, they told you it was going to be two weeks and you'd be driving it and it looked like this, would you believe them? Really? Now let's take a look at what's in that big giant box that Mopar sent us. I think I know what it is. It needs to go into that car. It needs to go in that car, so yep. we need to take this off. Let's take a look here. 426, crate engine from Mopar. Um, a beautiful piece of machinery, and uh, a couple surprises coming up that uh, are really special. And now Mark from SRT is back in town to take a look at our progress and see what he thinks. I think he's going to be impressed. So Mark, uh, uh, last time we were in town we talked about uh, the, the purple, the color, and we also talked about some things that we wanted to change on the vehicle, and I know you got your guys, uh, you got your guys to do some renderings. It looks pretty cool. We, 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 yeah, we did some, we took the liberty of doing a whole bunch of sketches based on kind of a, you know, a purple color on your suggestion. The purple, I wanted to go after, it's my favorite color, but I just think it would look awesome on this vehicle. And way back when, in the 70s, they had Plum Crazy on the Dodge side. And then what I thought was funny, on the Plymouth side, they had uh, In Violet, yeah. which was the exact same color. Uh, they just changed the name. Yeah. So, Alan, uh, let's see what we got. There's two different purples. Well, these are... The purple is very similar. This is gonna be a Hot Wheels car. This is, uh, right. you know, and so I, I love this. Right, I think this is awesome. All right, so show me what we got. So what we looked at is, you know, the diffuser area, yep. taking and trying to define the the shapes a little bit more, and right. really kind of calling out, putting some sections on to show, you know, what does it want to translate into into the to the real car. That was so. great. We're at the rear of the car now, and uh, Justin is down here working on the rear diffuser. Getting the lower piece now made so that we can finish off the inner corners and our lower fins for the diffuser.
It's actually been only a week and a half since I left you, and here we are back at Allen's shop at Palmer's Customs, and these guys have done an amazing job. The vehicle is finished, it's ready to rock. We have the hood open because this is the big announcement from Mopar this year. Sitting in this vehicle right now is a brand new Generation 3 426 Hemi engine crate motor from Mopar. And the big deal now is this thing is unlocked. You can tune it yourself. Uh, there's two entities that Mopar has that you can deal with and they will either send you a pre-programmed engine controller or they will get online and help you tune this engine. That's a big deal. And as for emission compliance, uh, Mopar is working on that right now and uh, I'm in California so this thing is not ready yet to run right here but they're working on it. So episode three is when Mopar comes around and has everything done with it and it's legal and we'll put it on the streets, we'll put it on the track, we'll have fun running this thing and it's going to be a lot of fun. I guess we're ready to see if this thing fires up first time. Never been turned over, has it? All right. AJ, you ready? Hit it. Next on Project Ultraviolet, we'll show you our reveal at SEMA 2012, and then we'll take it to the track. We now have 515 horsepower and 490 pound-feet of torque. We'll see what it does in 0 to 100.